Dennis Parker, you've uh, just delivered a uh, food and tourism uh, workshop at this uh, conference uh, for the, the tourism industry here in Wales. Tell us what some of the key messages were. I work for the Food and Market Development Division of the Welsh Government and for the last four years part of my role has involved um, a project on a regional basis in Wales um, bringing together the food and the tourism sectors um, because essentially um, food and tourism are very closely interrelated. Um, the majority of visitors who come into Wales um, will at some point eat um, and the message we're trying to get across is for them to consider looking at Welsh produce um, and equally for the hospitality businesses themselves, whatever um, sector they're in, whether they're actually providing accommodation, attractions, activities, um, to think about the opportunity of using uh, Welsh produce. Um, Currently we have such a wide range of Welsh produce available for people um, from you know, basic water, meat, um, to you know, full range of cheeses which can compete with um, the re any region in Europe. Um, so it may be encouraging them to look at, rather than having a general cheese board, to having a Welsh cheese board, to uh, ensuring that they have Welsh water available for people, um, to try and source meat especially locally, um, but also to promote the fact on their menus. So rather than just having um, uh, roast beef, that they have maybe the name of the butcher or the supplier included on the menu, um, that they encourage their visitors to visit some of the local producers. One of the projects we were talking about today in the, the workshop was um, an initiative developed by Cadwyn Cluid in Denbyshire, which is a um, Cluidian food trail, which brings together a cluster of food producers um, with the intention that accommodation providers can promote the information to visitors and encourage them to visit some of those suppliers, um, buy their products, um, and equally take them home as gifts for people. Because in, with the increasing awareness of local produce, um, people are far more interested in taking food home as a gift um, for family and friends. Um, in, certainly over the Christmas period, we saw an increased growth in, uh, in food products as Christmas gifts um, because people see that it's something that is actually going to be useful, some people are going to eat it rather than buying a gift that maybe somebody would just put in the back of the cupboard somewhere, um, food, and you can, you can now get really very you know, beautifully packaged gifts whether it's chocolates, preserves, jams, um, cheeses, um, we have a, a wide range of, uh, of beers available now in Wales. Um, we have one of the largest number of microbreweries in the UK, um, which provide high quality um, beers, which have won awards across the UK and Europe. And obviously things like uh, provenance and food miles um, are becoming very important now to the consumer, aren't they? This is one of the, uh, the points that we're trying to get across as well, is that whilst people yes, are interested in food, um, the increasing number of, of television programmes demonstrates that, um, is that people are also interested in the food miles um, being sustainable in terms of um, reducing the food miles for, for the food they eat. Um, and that's another sort of target market that we have is looking at that sort of green tourism element in terms of encouraging businesses obviously that are targeting that market to actively promote where their food comes from.